Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. It is about five in the morning and I am just running around making sure that I am all set. I will be out of town today and tomorrow, which takes us to Wednesday. Wednesday night I get home and then Thursday I'm on another flight and I'm gone until Sunday. So just trying to like square all the things away so that I am ready to go. Right now I have everything spread across the island. So what are my chances of actually remembering everything? So I got my toiletry bag already and set. That's going to go in my backpack. This is going to go in my backpack. I'm starting a new book called The Christmas Card Crime and Other Stories. So I'm excited to jump into that. I have my glasses and my cell phone over there. I need to throw that plug in a bag. Then I'm all packed here um, for the airport. I'm just going to wear like a pair of joggers and a sweater. And then this pair of Golden Goose sneakers. They're so festive and fun. I thought we'd open some advent calendars before we leave. All right, day 13. Oh, it's a really nice day cream by Grown Alchemist. I've tried their stuff before, it's lovely. This calendar has been a huge win and there hasn't been that many beauty products. Um, so that makes me super happy. All right, day 13. Pour some sugar on me. It's chocolate. You cannot go wrong with chocolate. Let's see what those are. I'm sure they are the chocolate caramels is what I'm thinking they would be. 13. Wait, I don't see. Unless they're oatmeal cookies. They might be oatmeal cookies. All right, day 13. I'm still waiting for Pomander. It's one of my favorite candles. This is roses, not my favorite. I'm not a huge rose person, not my favorite scent. I do usually bring that one um, during Valentine's Day though, because it just seems so fitting, but I have just never been a rose fan. All right, day 13. We're getting the rest of our mountain. and I think additional crossing guard things. So let me get this set up. So our mountain is complete and then we got another little crossing guard station. I am going to take the time when we get back to just set it up properly and try to match the picture. Day 13 of sex. It's a diptyque fragrance and it is, <laughs> it is rose. I will not be using that. If someone loves rose fragrance in my life, I will definitely gift it to them. But you cannot complain about the quality of the products, the size of the samples. It's been fantastic. It is time for the Dolly Advent Calendar. You guys have started putting in requests for the Dolly song of the day. However, I have one that my grandmother and I used to sing um, and I knew it had to be coming up. So it's the one I'm going to pick today and it goes like this. So come on down, have a look around. Rich folks living in a poor folks town. We got no money, but we're rich in love. And that's one thing that we got a plenty of. So come on down, have a look around. Have rich folks living in a poor folks town. That one's called Poor Folks Town. It is one that my grandmother and I used to sing all the time. It's one off of one of my favorite albums. I think it's Nine to Five and Other Odd Jobs is what the album is called, but it's one of my faves that definitely connects my love for Dolly with my grandmother. But let's see what day 13 has in store. It has the peppermint candies, so the box is not empty. So, good job, Dolly, good job. I am just making sure that we are all set. It's going to be cold and I'll probably walk the city a little bit tonight. So I'm actually going to take my blue salt scarf. These are amazing, I actually keep it in the bag. I'm gonna link my exact one, it is huge. It is such a great scarf to have on hand. And then these clothes just need to be thrown in a bag. And then I do wanna stuff 
my North Face gloves. These are the best gloves. I'll link them. They're great for a Christmas gift. And then also my Apre ski hat that we got on a ski trip. And it's by Mud Sweat and Gears. I love it. It is only 6.18 and I am in my pajamas already. Um, I landed here around three o'clock and I took the time to just explore the city a little bit because the last time I flew in it was so late at night I didn't have time to do so. I walked, hold on let me look. I took 16,926 steps and walked about 8.7 miles. I explored a bunch of really cool neighborhoods, Rittenhouse Square, Northern Liberty, Fishtown. I also did Old City and Center City. It was just a really nice walk. I didn't go into any stores or anything. I just put in my AirPods and walked and it was beautiful. And I had such a great time just exploring and having time to explore. But I have an early morning tomorrow and We'll hop over into Camden, New Jersey, but it was a really good day. I am probably going to read tonight and just hang out, but then I was thinking like, what else can we do? And I thought to myself, I still have some Q&A questions that we could answer. One was, why are you the cutest? I'm not, but thank you. Where are you and Steven going this year for Vlogmas? All right, so I guess I can tell you now. So Steven is already there. So Steven flew out early and went to Salt Lake City. We're actually staying in Park City. And then I am catching a flight Thursday evening and I am flying to Park City, Utah. And we are spending the weekend there. Steven is going to ski. I'm gonna hang out. I'm not a skier. I have bad knees. <laughs> um, and it makes me incredibly nervous that I don't enjoy it because I'm so worried about hurting myself. But we will be spending this weekend of Vlogmas in Park City, Utah. And it's going to be a blast. What is the number one thing on your bucket list? I think my bucket list changes often. I think currently something that's really on my list is I want a new adventure of some kind. Uh, not necessarily with my career, but I'm looking for just a new adventure. Will there be any recipes coming during Vlogmas? Yes, we will actually have some recipes and things, and I'm actually considering keeping Vlogmas going until the actual end of December and going until New Year's Eve. So let me know in the comment box below how you feel about Vlogmas going past the 25th and all the way to New Year's Eve. It is something I am thinking about, but I'm not making a commitment to. What is your cleaning schedule for inside your house? Because it is always spotless. So I really do do most of my cleaning over the weekend, like deep cleaning floorboards, floors, dusting, mopping, all of those things. Although my Narwhal Frio does all my cleaning of my floors now. But Steven and I are just very neat people. We don't go to bed without the dishes put away. We make our bed every morning. We tidy up constantly. We don't go to bed without picking up. So like that's why my house is always pretty neat because we are both neat people. I think Steven's army days has made him a neat person and I, my mom will tell you, even when I was a little kid, I was like a very neat and tidy little kid. Do you know about the Dolly Parton line of things for dogs. I do know. I haven't really perused it, but I caught it on her Instagram, but I will have to look into it for sure. What is your most treasured item from your grandmother? This is simple. I have several things. Well, maybe it's not as simple as I think. Can I list a couple things? So there are two things in particular. So I have some copper pencil sharpeners that were like a thing that she collected and I used to play with them when I was little. They are on a, the open shelving in my pantry. But 
two things that are most sacred to me are in my closet, in my like dressing mirror. I have one of her hair picks. When I was little, she used to let me pick and comb her hair and I would sit on the back of the couch and we would watch TV and I would pick her hair and she always had a hair pick and I have one of her hair picks. And then the other thing that is super special and I actually had it before she passed and it has moved with me to every place I've ever lived. She gave it to me I think when I ventured out on my own in my 20s. Um, but it is the entire, her entire series of Anne of Green Gable books. I think there are nine or 10 books total, but it's the entire set. And it's the ones that she read me on her front porch. And those are still on my bookcase and they will go with me wherever I go. But I would say the hair pick and that set of books are my two most treasured items from my grandmother. Advice for friendships that are changing, shifting, or need to come to an end and how to move forward gracefully. I feel like I have lived a life where um, relationships and friendships have changed and shifted. I feel like I feel that now. I think I think there are people come into your life for seasons and reasons, and that that that's fine. And I think things change. I think one thing I've really been doing is reevaluating what it means to be a friend. And um, I think sometimes I have found myself so desperate to be liked because I was like a bullied kid in school that I give a lot more than I get out of friendships or relationships in general because I want so much to be liked and to feel important by people. I think that really does come from living a life where um, I didn't have friends. I never went to a dance. I never went to a prom. I never did any of the things that normal school kids do because I didn't have friends to do them with. My mom and my grandmother were my best friends. And I think as I've grown up, I have sometimes, well, I can step back now and look at friendships in my life. And I can say that like, I feel like I've given a lot more than I've received from it. And I have to question if that's a true friendship. Um, I have felt friendships shift and change and I had close friends that I moved away from. And I think when I really do step back, if you leave a person's presence and you don't feel uplifted and you don't feel better about yourself, and uh, definitely if you feel less than, it's not a really great relationship and it's not really worth your investment. And I don't think you have to do anything. I think it's very easy to drift away and not have to explain yourself. And I think the relationships where you leave feeling more encouraged and more inspired and more lifted up and taken care of um, in a mental and emotional way, those are the ones to hold on to forever because it's really special. And I think when a friend is truly cheering you on and truly wants you to win and is as excited for your victories as you are for theirs, um, that's the sign of a good friend and you should always keep them. But I feel if any of those other things that I mentioned um, are the case, it's okay to let it go. People are there for seasons and reasons and some will stay forever. Is your current home your forever home? I think Steven and I both know the answer to that is no. It, it has never felt like our forever home. Now, with that being said, we love that home. We love the layout. We love what it has become. We feel like it has truly reflected our style, but is it our forever home? It is not. Your hope for 2023. A fresh start. One high and one low from 2022. Um, a high. I think I got a decent amount of recognition 
in my career in 2022 that felt really good because I've been doing um, and working really hard for a long time, but for it to be truly recognized and seen by, by people and people you really respect, that felt really good. I think a low for 2022, and I think it shows up in the frequency of my filming, um, is how I have felt about myself um, between my depression, my anxiety, and just how like overall I have felt about myself physically and mentally. That has been a real low of this year. and. I'm really hoping to make some shifts and change there. What is your favorite thing about Steven? Actually, I could tell you this story. Laura and I went to the Berkshires last year. We were hanging out and we were talking and it never clicked with me what these two words actually mean, but we were talking about our spouses. Her husband's name is Rob, who is like a gem of a human. I love him to death. But Laura and I were talking and Laura was like, how would you describe Steven? And instantaneously, the words reliable and consistent came out of my mouth. And she looked at me and she was, I, I believe her exact words like, wow, those are incredible words to describe any human being. But I really feel like that is Steven to a T. He is the most reliable and consistent person besides my parents that I have ever had in my life. Um, he has seen me at my worst, he has seen me at my best, and he has loved me on both ends of that. Our relationship by no means has been perfect and we have had some really hard times. Um, I think anyone who has been together as long as we have been, um, have those moments. But I could not imagine my life with anyone else and he is truly just a remarkable human being but he is reliable and consistent and incredibly loving. I actually think that is the perfect question to end with. So, this was Vlogmas Day 13 and we made it happen despite traveling and all the things. And I am so grateful for you and I am so grateful for how much you are loving Vlogmas. Tomorrow might look a little wonky as I figure out how to film and fly and travel and get home and pack for Thursday and all the things. There's so much to do. Um, but I love you all and I am having a real blast with Vlogmas this year. It feels different than past years um, and just something feels special about it. I'm gonna end it here and I will end it the correct way. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye.